thought it was interesting to learn that you actually have a lot of voiceover experience. Yes, I, I have many years uh, as a voiceover artist, but interestingly, Lake didn't know that. When she cast me in the film, uh, she'd seen me in some movies, and uh, I guess she thought my voice was plausible as that of a voiceover artist, but uh, uh, she didn't know that I'd actually spent, you know, many, many, many years uh, tilling those, those fields, you yeah. know. When reading the script, did you feel like, oh yeah, she's captured part of this world, or...? Yeah, uh, you know, it's a, it's a business rife with deep insecurity. Uh, any business where there's a lot of money to be made for light work, uh, there's always people um, who are afraid that something's going to kill the goose uh, and are always looking over their shoulder and concerned that they're going to be bested and all that kind of stuff. And in the case of my character, uh, he's so deeply riddled with insecurity, though he's pompous and proud, the thought of his own daughter um, competing with him is quite threatening. Talk about creating your characters, because I thought this character was another fantastic one, and I love Sai, of course, and The Serious Man. Um, Thank you. How, how do you go about building it? How much of that is on page? Um, well, it always starts on the page. It always has to start on the page. But I try and choose things uh, that appeal to me on, on some level where they're, um, there's something about them that's a little bit extreme, that's a little interesting. I mean, they have to be human. They can't be just monsters or just evil or just super nice. Um, they have to have depth. But I'm interested in the stories of people that are a little beyond the boundaries of what ordinary people are. I find those people interesting. So I always look for the opportunity to play them. And when I got the script, I thought, wow, what a great character. He's a monster, in a sense. I mean, he's certainly a monster of a father. But he's so deeply riddled with these insecurities. He's got obvious feet of clay. And he also loves his kids. So to put all those things into one character seemed a beautiful opportunity. And I didn't realize that the movie was, I was going to have the good fortune to have all these other really good people in the movie. Absolutely. You know, that was a wonderful thing I found out when I got on the set. Well, there's such a nice comedy balance in the film of, of you know, the serious, the touching and whatnot, and then really comedic moments in the film. Um, one that stands out for me is the kissing of the nose. <laughs> yeah. that I thought was hysterical. Ken Marino, just, well, you know, she, all Lake's friends that she got to be in this movie are people who are quite f capable of being very funny without anything written for them. They write themselves or they're just funny. I mean, it's true to a man and woman in the movie. I mean, Tig Notaro, Ken Marino, uh, Rob Corddry, of course, Dimitri Martin, who's a great comic mind, uh, even people who play smaller roles, um, uh, you know, really, really funny by, them, by themselves. So she had all that ammunition, you know, in the background. Uh, Ken just decided to do that. That's what she and said. She liked it, yeah. <laughs> And I always think those moments must come from some kind of real life experience. Is there any real life experience you brought into some of the comedic moments with your character? Um, yes. Uh, there's, a, there's a scene with me uh, and Alex Holden, Jamie, my girlfriend in the movie, um, where she's supposed to be recording me in, my home, in our home studio. <laughs> and uh, the insistence on quiet and absolute uh, concentration is something that unfortunately I force on my own family. And I was trying to teach her how to record it. And I kept, you know, counseling her on how to do it, and of course she couldn't quite get it right. And I don't want to blow the joke for the audience that hasn't has yet to see it, but uh, that was actually from my own my own life. Well, I know the joke, and that's funny. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Again, the film was wonderful, and again, I'm to really see glad you, you enjoyed it. It's my yeah. great pleasure. Thank you.